Okay, question four in the M7 practice paper. So it talks about Jill. She buys tea and coffee for everyone in the office. And on Monday, she bought three cups of tea, five cups of coffee. And the total amount she spent on that was £10.50. On Tuesday, she bought four cups of tea and four cups of coffee. And the total amount she spent on that particular day was £10. So part A says, by letting the cost of a cup of tea be X pounds, and the cost of a cup of coffee be y pounds. Use simultaneous equations to find the cost of a cup of tea and the cost of a cup of coffee. So part A, the starting point then. Write two statements in English, what x and y represent. So it says, let x be the cost of a cup of tea in pounds and then we're going to let y be the cost of a cup of coffee In pounds. So that's a good start. There's marks for that. Just getting the definitions down for X and Y. Now, we have to set up the equation. So let's start with what happened on Monday. She bought three cups of tea and five cups of coffee. And the total bill on Monday was £10.50. So for Monday, she bought three cups of tea. Well, if X is the cost of one cup of tea then three of those will be 3x. So that's the cost of all the tea she bought on Monday, 3x. She then went on to buy five cups of coffee. So if y is the cost of one cup of coffee in pounds, then five cups of coffee will cost 5y pounds. So that's the cost of a cup of coffee in pounds. Okay, so the total amount she spent on Monday is 3x plus 5y. And we're told that that is £10.50. And just check the units on both sides of the equation are the same. X and Y are in pounds and the right hand side is also in pounds. So always be careful that units match up when you set up an equation. And we're going to call that equation A. So that's Monday. Then Tuesday. Tuesday comes along and she buys four cups of tea. So if X is the cost of one cup of tea, four of them will be 4X. She also buys four cups of coffee. So one cup of coffee is Y pounds, four of them is 4Y. And then that's equal to the total amount that she spent on Tuesday, which was 10 pounds. So 4X plus 4Y is going to give you 10. And that's equation B. So Again, there's marks just for setting up the equations. Now we're going to solve them. Um, so in order to solve them, I'm going to write them out again. So it's entirely your choice. You can either decide to get rid of X or you can get rid of Y. I'm going to get rid of X. So I'm going to put a big box around the numbers that come immediately before X. And my job is to make those numbers the same. So in order to do that, we're going to get the LCM of 3 and 4. In other words, what is the smallest number that 3 and 4 go into? It's going to be 12. So both of those numbers have to become 12. So immediately underneath, I'm going to write 12 and put another 12 beneath it and rule a box around them. So that's the new box with the two 12s. And then I'm going to put X after each of them. And then we have to decide what we need to do to the original two equations in order to get 12X and 12X. So let's go to the top equation. We had 3X. What do we got to do to 3x to get 12x? We've got to multiply it by 4. So all of equation A is being multiplied by 4. So 3x times 4 is 12x, plus 5y times 4 is plus 20y. 
and then 10 pounds 50 multiplied by 4 is going to give us 42 pounds and that's a brand new equation I'm going to call that equation C okay then 4x multiplied by what gives you 12x well you have to multiply it by 3 so all of equation B has to be multiplied by 3 So 4x times 3 is 12x, plus 4y times 3 is plus 12y. And then 10 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 30. And that's another brand new equation, call that equation D. Now, ruler line underneath. Go to the box that has the same numbers in it. So that's where we're now looking at. Look at the signs that come immediately before that box. So you'll notice the signs before that box are the same because these are both positive numbers. So the signs are both the same. So we use the technique to eliminate called same sign subtract. So we put a subtraction sign down. So same sign subtract. And then let's do it. So we've got 12x subtract 12x gone. We've got plus 20y minus plus 12y. Remember a minus and a plus beside each other give you a minus. So that's going to be 20y minus 12y is going to give us 8y. And then we're left with 42 subtract 30 is going to give us 12. See the way x has now been eliminated. So we're now solve for y. Divide both sides by the coefficient. Do our cancelling. Largest number over here that goes into both is 4. So divide both by 4, we get 3 and we get 2. 3 over 2 is 1.5. So we're left with 1y divided by 1 is y. And remember, x and y are costs in pounds. So we're not going to write 3 over 2 pounds. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, but we're going to write 1.50 because we're talking about pounds and pence. So that is the cost of a cup of coffee. I'm going to call that equation E. So we've got to sub this value for Y into any of the original two equations. So I'm going to sub Y equals 1.50 into, I'm actually going to chuck it into B. Not that it matters. Chuck it into A. So go to equation B then. So we've got 4x plus 4 and then replace y with 1.50. So I'm subbing a number into a formula, put, put it in brackets when it has a coefficient. And then that's equal to 10. And then we've just subbed a number into a formula. You normally do powers first, but there aren't any. Then you do brackets for more than one term. There aren't any. Then you do your multiplying. So you go back to the original formula and look for terms. So if I go back to equation B here, 4x is a term, but we didn't know what x was. Plus 4y is a term, and we know what y is. So that means these are being multiplied. So do your multiplying. Plus 4 times 1.50 is going to give us six pounds. So we're going to be left with four X plus six equals 10. Move your six to the other side and change its sign. So we're going to have four X equals 10 minus six. So we're going to end up with four X equals four and then divide both sides by the coefficient of X, which is four. So divide both sides by four. 4's cancel over here and we're just left with x and then 4's cancel over here so we're left with 1 divided by 1 is just going to give us 1 and again remember these are costs in pounds so x is 1 pound so in other words cup of tea is 1 pound so our answer there for part A so cup of tea is one pound and a cup of coffee is one pound fifty okay so part a part b it says on wednesday jill bought two cups of tea and six cups of coffee what was the total bill on wednesday so what we could then do now is part b 
Wednesday. So what was the total bill? So the total bill is going to be two cups of tea plus two cups of coffee. So remember, a cup of tea is X. So 2X is the cost of the two teas. The cost of a cup of coffee is Y. So you buy six of those. So that's plus six times Y. And then that's equal to, well, we'll have to work that out. So chuck in X and Y. So that's going to be two times one plus six times one pound fifty. So two times one is going to give us two, six one pound fifties. Well, six ones are six and six fifties are going to be three pounds. So that's going to be plus nine. So we're going to get a total answer of 11 pounds. So that will be the total bill on Wednesday.